Hey guys, welcome to my Minecraft video. It's a bullet train tutorial. As a lot of you have wanted a bullet train tutorial, I will be making one of these. So this firstly when you when you press this button, which is the activation button, and you sit in the train. I mean this button can be this button can be hooked up to a circuit that runs in a loop and close the train and close all these entities to move the train forward can be formed in a loop and hooked to a time time thing so that can set the circuit off this is the train announcement it's just a play sound and a title to alert the players inside that the train is going to be leaving soon next up here will be hooked up all the way here to an armor stand uh, to a command block that tags an armor stand this command block is actually tagging an armor stand in the front here this one now notice how the armor stand when i'm facing right look at my x axis it's actually facing the positive x axis when i'm moving this direction it's the positive x axis and it's one it's actually one two three four four blocks in the front X axis and for the since the x axis is correctly aligned you can set the command now so uh, what this does is it actually it actually teleports all the all the entities in the train with the tag shinkansen and and which stands for entity all right so it teleports it negative two z axis forward which is look at how my z axis increases negative 2 so yes this teleports all the entities on the train and this clones the train take a look at this command now i can't really point at it i'm so sorry this is my first tutorial i haven't done a voice thing here so yes I'm so sorry if i'm not very good at talking Next up here, there is this very important command. This command is to ensure that the player do not do not accidentally fall out of the train when they are sitting on the on the minecart. If they do, if, if this command did not exist, when they sit on the minecart, they would fall, fall out of the train. So this command basically just tags all of the minecarts in a radius of hundred, which is I mean you cannot set in a radius of hundred. You can just set in a, this area here. But, for demonstration purposes, the radius of hundred. Set all the, oops, set all the minecarts all to tag Shinkansen and stands for entity again. This one sets the armor stand to Shinkansen. End. So when you place down an armor stand, this will have the ent this will have the tag Shinkansen and Shinkansen end. All right. So what this command does is it takes the armor stand which has the tag of Shinkansen it teleports all the entities including the armor stand because the tag is Shinkansen end which the armor stand has and next it just it clones the thing if this is if this command is executed this is a chain function and always active command okay, so it clones it notice how the notice how the three tildas right is 47140 so 4 will be 4 blocks forward in the x-axis because it's positive x and the 1, 4, 0 will be this way and the last 3 tildas have a negative 2 on the z-axis which just shows the speed you can increase this value to increase the speed but negative 2 seems to work well for the train speed right? so this is a stop mechanism in case the player falls, falls out of the train not the train will train will just carry on forever and it will not stop it will probably destroy some buildings or some terrain in the way so the train is out of range it should stop so what this does is it checks if there's a player 180 blocks away from this armor stand or yeah this armor stand and this one if there is a player if the player is not within 180 180 blocks away 
it will remove uh, the tag. Removing the tag of this understand actually causes the train to stop because this command is unable to be executed on the understand. So yes, I'm so sorry if this is not clear explanation because it's quite difficult to explain actually. Yeah, for the stop mechanism, it's just simply a. I don't remember building that. It's very simply just a. This here. This is a glitch train. It's not supposed to happen. It happens sometimes. Okay, so this is the stop mechanism. This is all you need. This actually just. If it detects an armor stand here, it will remove the tag. Removing the tag stops the train as I've said before from there. So yes, stops the train. It just simply clears the train. Okay. So, clears all the items as well. I hope I've explained enough. Maybe not. If you have any questions, please leave some comments in the this in the in the comment section. I will be there to answer it for you. Thank you for listening and watching my video. I hope I have I hope I have helped you. If you have doubts about cloning the structures, I will make a video about it to explain in depth about cloning structures forward and how to make moving structures. Thank you.